In the last tutorial, uh, I took you through how to manage some of the materials, bring in material libraries, and assign them to the river elements inside of 3ds Max. Uh, I want to get into uh, the rendering. I just want to show you a quick uh, management between Revit and the materials that you set up inside of 3ds Max with V-Ray. So what I have here is my, my Revit scene. And let's say, for example, uh, we add another item to the scene or we change something. So at the moment, uh, we've got a WC, um, some basins. If I go to uh, bring in a, another item here, uh, I just wanna show you what happens when you bring that in and then you uh, reload it back into uh, 3ds Max. So let's say for some reason we want to add a, um, a different type of basin in here. So let's say the client changes their mind and so we'll get rid of uh, these ones and the clients change their mind and they want one singular basin so I'm going to bring it in um, place on the uh, wall face here and let's do that and I'll just bring that across and um, I'll just roughly align it Careful here. Uh, so now we have this this new element that we want to uh, check before we render inside of 3ds Max. So if I go back to my view one, and what is crucial here is you always uh, do it from from the view. So make sure you're always going from this this view one. And I'm going to uh, go back to my sweep workflows, and um, I do have my own customized one. I'll just use the same one I used in the previous tutorial. And right now I want to uh, go to uh, the settings and this is just saying um, if you want to include the lights, the daylight system, the camera. We don't need to include the camera anymore um, and I'll just leave these on. What, what is crucial here is you always use the max scene material definitions, not the Revit ones. You keep the max scene definitions on the reload. So we'll go and uh, run that and it's going to pop up. Um, so instead of doing the new 3ds Max scene like I did in the first part of the tutorial, I want to use either the existing or active. I'll go to active, here it is, it's untitled, and uh, we're just going to update it, we're not going to do any of this. We're just going to update the FBX that's already in the scene. So go continue, and if we flip back to Max, what you're seeing is it's linking that FBX file. So what it's done is uh, here in 3ds Max, if we go to references, go to manage links, it's actually reloaded that temporary file. So I converted it to an FBX out of Revit, reloaded it, and now you can see the, the new data inside of the model. Now, if we go to the materials just to check that the other ones haven't been overridden, if I go and just grab a, a blank slot and I go and get the WC, you can see here it's still the V-Ray material that we uh, created in the previous tutorial. So it hasn't overwritten that material. Now if I go and get the new basin that we introduced, this has gone to a Autodesk based material. So what I want to do is, uh, there's a metal here, there's a ceramic here. I'm just going to uh, drop my porcelain material into the ceramic. Similar sort of thing. Um, and then I'm going to take my stainless steel and drop it into the metal. And again, just for instance. So. So now that is um, updated with a V-Ray material, um, even though the, the change has been made. So very simple, simply, um, that's how you uh, reload the data, change the material again, and uh, in the next tutorial, we'll move into lighting, lighting and uh, rendering.